Good morning, everybody, and I would like to go ahead and talk about something that I think that we've all run into every now and again. It's something that absolutely infuriates me. Now, this is something that I just recently had a brush with, in case you can't tell. The anger from my voice is just kind of slowly bleeding into it, but, you know what, it's a, it's a very calm, very calm, very controlled anger. It's that kind of... It's that kind of very, I want to say, restrained sort of anger that you have when you stub your toe. And you've stubbed your toe far too many times to get up and shout about it, but the pain just kind of radiates upward slowly from your toe to the rest of your foot up into your leg. And you're just sitting there thinking, I know this is going to pass, but I have every right to be pissed off that it happened. Now... What I'm going to be talking about really doesn't have anything to do with stubbing toes, although it is no less infuriating. It has to do with driving. Now, driving is one of those things that commercials love to make look amazing and fun and adventurous, and sometimes can be, but most of the time is just a, it's something you do. It's like getting up and eating breakfast in the morning. There's nothing really special to it. It's something you spend money on. It's something you use to get from point A to point B during your day. But the thing I am talking about is people who block traffic. Now, this is never a person, and this is kind of the interesting thing. It's never really a single person that does this. This is always a team effort, and the fact that it's a team effort is what makes it all the more infuriating and all the more baffling that this even exists. If you have ever been driving down the road, and let's go ahead and say for the sake of argument you're going a few miles over the speed limit, because, you know, there's a grace period, the speed limit is generally very slow, most people don't obey it, and most people tend to go about 5 to 10 over on any given day, on average. You always have the speed demons that love to go, you know, 20, 40 over, and occasionally they get pulled over by the police and get a hefty ticket for it, but we're not talking about these people. Because those people, the speed demons, there is one thing that I will say about them. They're not a problem to get stuck behind. No one ever goes into work the next day and is like, oh man, you know, you know, Jim Bob, you know, Gloria, I just had the worst drive in. This one person, they just pulled in ahead of me, and then they started going faster than me. It was horrible. I, I was late to work somehow because the person ahead of me was going faster, and I was only behind them for a couple of seconds. No, no, no one ever cares about those people. The people I'm talking about are the annoying motherfuckers that drive side by side on the road going under the speed limits. Let me go ahead and repeat that. They go under the speed limits driving side by side. Now... If any of you's pulses just quickened because you heard that and you thought back to a time, possibly very recently, where that happened to you, well then I would like to say join the club because most people hate these people. Now, if you're one of these people, you're either having uh, you're having a couple of different reactions right now. Well, A, you're either panicking because you're on the internet and it's clearly run by demons and you're 80 years old. Or B, you're somebody who's sitting there in self-righteous smugness, thinking to themselves, I'm controlling traffic. In which case, please die in a fire. Or, you're one of the people that's sitting around laughing their asses off because you just trolled everybody behind you. In which case, die in a fire after you've had your genitals stuck into a blender. Preferably feet first into the fire. And the reason I say this is because this is one of the most obnoxious traffic behaviors that exists, and there is literally no reason or purpose for it. And in fact, probably causes more accidents than the speed demons, and here's why. Because these people cause reckless drivers. Most people are not reckless drivers. By nature, most people want to be rather cautious in a car. However, what happens is, is that when people get agitated or when people get frustrated or if they get otherwise excited, they can get very agitated behind the wheel. 
when this happens, they tend to go a little faster. They tend to not check as long in their mirror when they merge. They tend to use the turn signals a little less. So, can you imagine what it is like to be one of the people that drive side by side on the road, causing countless, countless agitated drivers behind you? Well, that right there is basically a factory for car accidents. So, why do these people do it? Well, I've listed above the three reasons, but then of course maybe it's just carelessness. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're not trying to make a statement. Maybe they're not intentionally trying to piss people off. Maybe they are truly just that unaware of what they are doing, in which case please don't die in a fire. But please pay a little bit more attention on the road. If you're ever on the road and you see a very angry line of cars behind you, I encourage you to look to your right and look to your left. If you see another car there driving roughly the same speed, maybe there's a little bit of a gap but not quite enough to squeeze through, speed up or slow down or do something to open up the gap in the road because basically what you're doing is that you're just pissing off hundreds of people behind you. Now, if you feel empowered by that, if some odd reason you feel this is giving you a little bit of a rush, well, then I've got some bad news for you. Your life is empty. And you need something in it to satisfy you. Otherwise, you're just going to turn into, well, a burden to absolutely everybody else around you. However, if you're one of the countless people that sees these people and grips their stealing meal a little bit tighter, if you grind your teeth a little bit when you see them, just know you are not alone. Countless others just like you see these people and are just as frustrated, just as confused. And hopefully one day it will be illegal to do this, because honestly, that would probably help quite a few people. Well, that has been my rant today, and I hope that all of you have a good day.